How is it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm playing Roblox Studio and I'm actually going to be telling you guys about Roblox Studio viruses. And it's not the kind of virus that you're thinking, like you're thinking like a Trojan horse style virus. And it's not going to infect your computer that way. I mean it could affect your storage if it if you let like the virus run continuously. Um... But what a lot of people, like, do is put viruses into free models. So a lot of kids come on Roblox to try and build their own first game. And let's just be honest here, they're not going to be able to script anything themselves, or for that matter, most likely even build anything themselves. So a lot of people will take in free models and try and make games that way. Now, doing that, you can put together a game in 15 minutes. Roblox has even done it themselves. Um, but the thing is, is you will oftentimes get put with a lot of viruses. So what they'll do is there's several different ways of viruses. So the first one here, this is a rotate virus. So what this does is it basically is just running back. It's running the back engine of your game. And it's basically for nothing. It's just continuously running these, a whole bunch of uh, rotate scripts for nothing. And so that's one way that they <clears throat> have viruses. Now, I've actually went through and cleared all of the, uh, the rotate viruses off of that. Now, one other thing that they'll do is put 4D models in. Um, this one doesn't actually have that particular virus in it, but all you'd have to do is type in 4D. And you would see it pop up. Um, another very popular type of virus is a fire virus. This one doesn't seem to have that either. Script. Let's see. Rotate. It doesn't seem to have any other viruses other than just the rotate script. Oh, it does have a whole bunch of welds. Um, there is one way that you can get rid of that as well. And that is to ungroup it. So, for example, you could, uh, this is an apothecary table. So I'm going to control ungroup, control shift group. Oh, it has meshes in it. That's why. Or is it the decal? Ungroup. Oh, it's because it's got another bottle in there. Ungroup. Control shift G. Heater. How many meshes are in there? <coughs> Well, this one actually isn't even the one that has all the welds in it, so we can just group this one up. So, one way that you know if it's completely virus-free, as you can see, this one just has only meshes in there. And this is the actual explorer, so if you were to open this up, you would actually see, like, if I'll go, just go ahead and reload this one. So, it says that uh, it's here to your place, and then it just starts running, like, a whole bunch of back stuff. But, let's see here, and you see this guy, he put this one as a, yeah, just a rotate. So all that this guy knows how to do is a rotational uh, virus. So, we know how to counter that one pretty easy, but we're going to go ahead and delete that, because we already did. So we'll go ahead and group. And as you can see, <clears throat> this is completely virus free now, but we have some other stuff to deal with so let's come over here this is a handle let's see oh I meant to ungroup it
Um, for this one, it's actually going to be pretty tedious. Well, no. <clears throat> what I actually think I'm going to do, if you hit a virus like this one where they just put a whole bunch of welds in there just to annoy you, what you can do is just take, like, if you want one bottle, and this is going to have to, you're going to have to rebuild a little bit of it, but part of, uh, like, doing Roblox Studio is you will have to build your own game. But you're going to have to get rid of all the welds, and that's going to, well, we could actually just do it a little bit quicker here. If you're wondering how I'm able to highlight and also delete at the same time, you just highlight, highlight everything you need to delete, and push delete button, boom. Easy as that. Now, I actually uh, do think I am going to keep one. Actually, we'll go ahead and delete the weld on there. Completely get rid of it. And what he did to make all those welds is all he did was just, hi when you highlight it all, you can just spam the anchor button in there. You can just go in here. Keep anchoring, anchoring, anchoring. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and see. We got here. As you can see, the bottle is completely fine. And there is another way you can do this too. If you don't want to have to just delete it all. If there's like tons of them. You can actually just load in a new block. And so for example, like I'm going to take this bottle. Because I haven't done this one yet. We'll cut this mesh. And we can paste it in here. Oop. Pasted it in the workspace. Paste it into a new block, and you have it just that easy. And this one, it has no uh, viruses in there. And another thing, you you could do that with anything. So like this one here, we'll go here into model. Oh, this one is a... Uh, I could actually union this, so... Let's go ahead and ungroup, 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 control shift G, and let's see if it lets me union it. Sometimes it'll say like that something about a triangle and it won't let you. This one might be the case because it doesn't usually take this long. But as you can see, it's very easy to fix Roblox viruses. This lag, I actually brought it on myself by initiating a union uh, by clicking Control shift g If you guys didn't know, you can actually initiate a union. But don't worry, my studio is not going to freeze. It's just thinking and it's going to give me a response about a triangle. I can almost guarantee it. <coughs> so... If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.